Hi, it's Miss Cassie, and today we're going to read about stingrays, and this is called Stingrays Underwater Flyers by Carol Gerber. Now, this uh, book reads like a story. It reads like a fiction book, but it's actually nonfiction. So you're going to learn a lot of cool facts about stingrays. Look at that stingray. Ooh. Okay. Let's begin. A hungry southern stingray hides on the sea floor. She covers her flat, boneless body with sand. Other fish are hiding too. The stingray waits. What do you think the stingray is waiting for? Something moves under the sand. Swish, swish, swish. The stingray uncovers a clam. Plop. She drops onto her prey. Do you remember what prey means? That's right, the thing that they're going to eat. The stingray's mouth is on her underside. She sucks up the clam. Chomp, chomp. Her strong teeth crush the shell. <coughs> she swallows the clam and spits out the shell. But look, what's here on the right? Yes, it's a shark. What kind of shark is it? Now the stingray is in danger. A hammerhead shark is on the hunt. Sensors in its skin locate the stingray. Stingrays also have sensors. Sensors around the stingray's mouth detect that a shark is nearby. The stingray seems to fly through the water. Her fins move like wings. She escapes. The hammerhead does not give up. It loves to eat stingrays. The shark swims in big circles. Soon it senses another stingray buried on the seafloor. The shark uses its head like a hammer. It butts and pins down a rough tail stingray. The rough tail fights back. It raises its skinny tail, whack! It drives in a poisonous stinger or barb. So it's a poisonous stinger is also, it's called a barb. You see it right here. In the, the barb breaks off in the shark's mouth. Ouch, it's sharp. The hammerhead has been stung before. It ignores the pain. It eats the rough tail in quick bites. See how its tail is missing now, or the rough part? The southern stingray got away just in time. The eggs she is carrying have hatched inside her. Her babies, called pups, come out of her body. Look, there are seven. So stingrays carry eggs inside them. The stingray does not feed her pups. They uncurl their fins and swim away. The pups may live 15 to 25 years, so stingrays live 15 to 25 years. That's a long time. Their mother swims away too. She goes to a place where hogfish are waiting. This area is called a cleaning station. She rests as the hogfish eat the gunk that coats her smooth skin. The hogfish get fed. The southern stingray gets clean. So instead of taking a shower or bath, the hogfish cleans off the the gunk or dirt on her skin. The stingray does not sting the hogfish. Stingrays lash out only when they are scared. Most stings occur on feet and ankles. Someone steps on a stingray hiding in the sand. Ouch. To protect itself, the stingray lifts its tail. You see the stinger right there? Whap! It dries in its stinger. When the barb breaks the skin, venom seeps into the wound. It hurts. So this boy's getting treated, but he's going to be okay. Victims of stings need first aid. Eight, the poison must be washed from the wound. The barb must be pulled out. Luckily, stings rarely happen. Stingrays are shy. They tend to hide or swim away. 
from predators. And they swim fast. See the stingray's skeleton here? How do they swim fast? Because their skeletons are made of cartilage. So are your nose and ears. So everybody touch your ear and touch, wiggle your nose and see how soft and bendy it is. That's just like a stingray, the inside of their body. Swimming stingrays bend their fins like wings. This is why they seem to fly through the water. There are hundreds of kinds of stingrays. They live in oceans and in some rivers. Some are drab like the southern stingray and some are bright like this one called the ribbon tail stingray. Isn't it pretty? Some have long tails like the whip tail stingray here on the left. Some have spots and some have stubby tails like the short tail stingray here on the right. Some are small like the yellow stingray and some are huge. The manta ray here on the left can grow to 30 feet wide. So if you stretch out your arms all the way, it would be that length and do that seven times in a row. And that's how big the manta ray is. Isn't that crazy? Stingrays can swim fast in short bursts, but most can't swim at top speed for long. Many are attacked and eaten by sharks or whales. Stingrays that survive attacks heal quickly. Scientists at Moat Marine Lab in Sarasota, Florida want to learn why. They believe that good bacteria live in the mucus that coats stingray skin. So an example of music, mus ah, mucus is like the, it's like a thick watery substance, like kind of what comes out of your nose when you got a runny nose and that's inside the coats of stingray skin. It protects it. Sounds a little gross, but it's helpful. The scientists are running tests to see if the bacteria can be used to protect wounds from infection. Moat Marine Lab also has an aquarium. Here you can pet stingrays placed in ray trays. For safety, their stingers have been removed. Look at how camouflaged this is. Have you ever touched a stingray? Its skin is soft and slick. The color of its skin helps the stingray blend or camouflage into the sand. Stingrays have lived for millions of years. Only a few kinds are endangered. These underwater flyers will likely be around forever. Well, I hope you enjoyed the stingray book. See you later.